In this question, we are given that a pentagon with five sides of equal length and five interior angles of equal measure is inscribed in a circle. So, the figure would somewhat look like this. Okay. Now, we have that the pentagon has equal sides and equal interior angles. So, this means that the pentagon is a regular pentagon. We have to check if the perimeter of the pentagon is greater than 26 centimeters. Let's assume that each side of the pentagon is equal to x. So, we need to check if 5x is greater than 26 or x is greater than 26 over 5 which means I have to check if x is greater than 5.2. Okay, so moving on to the first statement. So, statement 1 tells me that the area of the circle is 16 pi square centimeters. So, area is going to be 16 pi centimeters square. So, this means that the radius is going to be 4 centimeter. Now, do we need to find whether the, you know, the value of x is going to be greater than 5.2 or not? No. But is the statement sufficient? Yes. How is that? Because we know that the circle has a fixed radius, right? And since the pentagon is inscribed in a circle, the pentagon will also have a fixed side, right? The fixed length. And hence, we can find out if the perimeter will be greater than 26 or not. So, we know we can find out, we know we can answer the question using the information in statement 1 and hence this is sufficient. And out of the given answer choices, I can eliminate answer choice B, C and E. Now, let's look at statement 2 which is much trickier as compared to the statement 1. In statement 2, we are given that the length of each diagonal of a pentagon is less than 8 centimeters. So, let's draw a pentagon and then draw all possible diagonals. Now, keep in mind guys, this is a regular pentagon. Okay, so we can find out the each measure of each interior angle. So, let's find that out first. So, each interior angle is going to be 5 minus 2 multiplied by 180. And since there are 5 sides, so divide by 5. We have 3 multiplied by 180 over 5. 5 cancels 180 36 times. So, we have 108 degrees. So, each angle in the pentagon is going to be 108 degrees. And since the diagonals, the polygon is regular, the diagonals will divide this whole angle into 3 equal angles. So, if we divide 108 by 3, we get 36 degrees. So, these angles, guys, this is going to be 36 degrees each, all the angles here. So, let's quickly mark that down first. This is going to be 108. This will also be 108. So, we have every information here, all the angles. This will also be 36. Okay. And notice that, that this is another pentagon. Okay. So we can write 108, 108, 108, and 108. So this is what we have. Now let's just name the triangles. Okay. Let's uh, have the names for the, all the vertex. We have A, B, C. D, E and the inter intersection here as O. Okay, so we are going to consider the triangles A, B, E and triangle E, B, O. So, let me erase everything else here so that we are not confused. So, we just need these angles. Okay, and since we need the whole angle, I am going to write this as 108 degree. Now, notice guys, this, these two triangles are on the same diagonal. 
right and the opposite sides to it will be equal. Since all the angles are equal, we can say triangle ABE will be congruent to triangle EBO. So, as we had taken the measure of each side as x, the length of EO and OB will also be x. Okay. Now, guys, we know from statement 2 that the length of each diagonal of pentagon is less than 8 centimeters. Right. So, if we assume that the length is going to be 8 centimeters, we have to find a value less than that. Right. So, if this part EC is a diagonal and this is going to be you know less than 8 centimeters and we have taken EO as x then OC will be equal to 8 minus x and similarly OD will be equal to 8 minus x. So let's take a clear diagram now. Okay. We are going to now discuss about the triangles A, B, E with the sides as x angle 108 and the other two angles is 36 degree and 36 degree each and O D C with the length 8 minus x 8 minus x this angle is 108 36 and 36 each now these two triangles are similar guys okay because the angles are equal and thus the sides will be proportional so, what can we write post that? We can write that x over 8 is equal to 8 minus x over x. If we simplify this, we get x squared equals 64 minus 8x or x squared plus 8x equals 64. Remember guys, we had to test if x was greater than 5.2. Right. So, instead of taking a decimal value, I will take the closest integer and check. So, let's check for x is equal to 5. Okay. Let's do a check here. So, for x equals 5, I will have 5 squared plus 8 times 5, which is going to be 25 plus 40, which is 65. Now, 65 is definitely not equal to 64. In fact, it is greater than 64. Right, so this means that x needs to be less than 5. If x needs to be less than 5, it will definitely be less than 5.2, right? And hence, we can answer the question with a definite no, that the perimeter of the pentagon is not greater than 26 centimeters. And hence, this makes the statement 2 also sufficient along with statement 1. So, out of the given options, we will say that the option D is the correct answer choice.